This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! And guess. Do -do 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 -do. So, why did you come here? For the people of the world, for myself! I'm a social justice photographer, after all. Social justice? Then allow me to guess the reason why you came here. Was it perhaps to expose the illegal evidence trafficking? Oh, I get it. You were trying to get a scoop on the secret dealings. Uh, huh? Y'all know that much already? Well, I reckon there ain't no reason to hide it anymore. My sources tell me there's some kind of black market auction being held around these parts. What did you say? So then all this evidence here is... Yup, they're the goods for the auction. There's a lot of dirty money flying around here. I wanted to try and catch it with my own two eyes. My source gave me a whole bunch of info, but... I figured that just hearing about it ain't enough. Seeing is believing, after all. So I've been staking out the place from behind here this since yesterday. Okay, so here's our witness. The auction took place late last night and went on till this early morning. Yeah, so you couldn't really put Penny here where it's like, I, I was just gonna scope out, like, the a black market dealings. I know, it's just, why did they have to write her back in this? <laughs> a murder on the night of the black market auction. Could the two events be related? Ooh, Shelly the Killer shows up, he's like, I want that red statue for me. <laughs> uh, black market dealings in the Grand Tower. Guess I really hit the mother load this time. Where are all the items in the auction pieces of evidence? There was some normal stuff, too, like stolen art and the like. I wouldn't consider stolen art to be normal. But I reckon this evidence was the star of the show here. These folks are law fanatics trying to get their hands on the latest goods from the police. So that's what you wanted to get pictures of, Miss Hart? Pretty much. They were meeting right under this very storeroom. They were? Wait, the auction people? Yeah, apparently. Why were they meeting with the PIC? Maybe they're the same people. The PIC will grant you these pieces of evidence to be sold. For the leather price of $100,000. <laughs> in reality, the PIC just isn't getting enough funding because they're losing so much funding from the Best. <laughs> the Best is going to Culver's too much. No, it's not Culver's. It's oh. like they're trying to hire him, but like he's not winning any cases. And then his dad's just kind of like... Yeah. This wouldn't yes, happen if Payne were in charge. I actually, think, it I, would. Actually, it would. <laughs> so I watched him from up here. You said you were here since yesterday. Did you witness the entire event? It was a black market auction, after all. They followed a fairly detailed procedure. First, the partip participants entered the storeroom from the viewing platform one at a time. What? When they got in, they each took one of their masks on the wall over there. Funny thing about those masks, they're all equipped with voice changers, itty bitty ones. That way they wouldn't be recognized. They wanted to protect their... enemy? You mean their... anonymity? Anonymity? You mean their anonymity? Yeah, that's it, their anonymity! Why not just say identity and make things easier for all of us? After putting on their mask, they'd go down to the lift? And the next fella would come right in. On the way back, it was the exact same thing, but in reverse. How did K miss like 50 people? They'd hmm. come up one by one, return the mask, and head out, out of the storeroom. Except one person didn't s store their mask. Yep. Wow, that's pretty thorough. Masks data jotted down in the organizer. So, there were like 12 masks on there? There was a lot. 12 baddies. Maybe it's all people from, like, maybe it's all past criminals. So it's like... <laughs> red, white. Frank red, white, saw it. red White's like, I really want my naked men statue desk in my jail cell. <laughs> How would they get here? <laughs> I don't know. How many participants were there? 11 people all together. One counted each, or I counted each of them as they made their way down. So, no. Unless if, um... The person stole the mask and just headed back up and then tried to kill Kay. Hmm. I'll have you know, I wasn't just laid up behind the statue the entire time. Then, where were you in the beginning? Beginning? Well, uh, don't you worry about yourself about that, you hear? So, she was hiding behind the statue the entire time. I watched the folks coming in the while lurking in the shadows. All secret agent-like. 
Note to self, secret agents like to lurk in the shadows. And then they use that lift over there to get down to the auction site. I mean, Lada's got guts for doing that. Lada, I, Lada has a lot of guts. That's true. Just in general, she's like, mm, I heard there was a murder at the slate. I'm still camping here. She was camping my, there before the murder took place. Right, she's like, I got my gun. I got my, my stuff. I'm good to go. <laughs> she comes over um, and takes photos at the thing that Maya gets kidnapped at. <laughs> you gotta love how it's still doing the first game, Lot of Heart music, though. <laughs> yeah, geez. After they all went down, I watched the whole thing from the lift. Did that lift stay down the entire time? Nah, I came back up. But there's a little tiny gap in the floor there. There's a bit of space between the floor and the lift platform, you see. So I could see just about everything that was going on down there. Then, did you see the person who was conducting the auction? Uh, well... Yeah, you betcha I did. What kind of story would this be if I didn't know who was the conductor was? The conductor, huh? It seems I'll need to ask her for more details. I think it's the... the, 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 the... That guy. What are you talking about? <laughs> the guy who has the big old goggles and then would cry through his goggles. Oh, you mean Blaze the Best? Blaze the Best. Beardy. Beardy. Yes. <laughs> Beardy. That's what I'm calling Do you him. have any more information on about this so-called conductor? You know, I came here to get me a scoop. What makes you think I'd give my info to you all willy nilly? Basically, what you're saying is you don't know. Ah, oh, I see. So that's why she won't answer. What can I say? I couldn't even tell how old they were or if they were a guy or a gal. Can you tell me what the person was wearing at the time? They had on a white jacket with a purple flower and they were wearing white gloves. Who does that match up with? Um, white, purple flower? Purple white flower. White gloves, white jacket. Pull up them profiles. And purple flower. Purple flower. That kind of, no. She's only 25? Jeez. I mean, oh, it could be Bonnie Young. I think you're thinking of, um. Oh, maybe it is Jill. It's all Jill's fault! Frickin' Jill. Frickin' Jill sucks. She's got the purple flower, the white coat, she's got the white gloves there. Jill is actually, like, the daughter of, um, the killer. And, <laughs> and she was, like, hosting this meeting. And then one of them- You are, you are, you are just so sure the killer is involved. I, okay, you know why? Because they threw him in the first case for literally no reason, unless if they're building up to something else. He had a very important role in the first case. He did, but it was kind of one of those where it's like, I'll be back. True. At the end of it. He so left his calling card behind, yeah. so. Uh, you know, they don't mean much when I have no... So the conductor's identity was hidden, just like the participants? That's right! They had on a mask and a voice changer, just like everybody else. What kind of mask did this person wear? It was a Servan... Servan mask, I reckon. Servan? What in blazes is that supposed to be? Mr. Edgeworth, you don't know about Zervan? He's the sworn enemy of global hero on Yom Kippon! Zervan, the ruler of time. Seriously, who hasn't heard of him? Most people, I'd imagine. Since the conductor wore a mask, I assume you were not able to see their face. Not even a teeny weeny bit, and after I came all this way for my big scoop. <laughs> This whole story's turning out to be nothing but fool's gold! Conductor's clothes jotted down in my organizer. I mean, I'm mad Lotta's back. I'm having fun with her. Yeah, <laughs> that set of clothes seems familiar. Perhaps I should show her that piece of evidence. How about I show you that photo of Jill? You said the conductor wore a white jacket and a purple flower and white gloves? That's right. They sure looked spiffy for a criminal mastermind. Miss Hart, did they look anything like this? <gasps> hey! That's it! That's the conductor! Hold your horses! Are you telling me the conductor's dead? She is the victim of a case we are investigating. Her name is Jill Crane. Have you heard of her? Can't say I have. So she was a lady, huh? What kind of gal dresses like that? She gets kicked by fools me into thinking she's a guy! I don't know what that voice crack was. I doubt that her intention was to deceive you or make you crack your voice. Setting that aside, we had established something of major importance. The victim was the conductor of the black market auction. I see. So the conductor was killed. 
Then that might explain. Explain what, Miss Hart? Uh, no, 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 it's nothing honest. Miss Hart, you clearly sounded suspicious just now. And I'm telling you, I ain't! Hmm, can't be. Sorry, were you trying to say something? No, I ain't! I ain't saying nothing! Please don't be like that. Just tell us. How many times do I gotta tell you I'm a journalist? Information's what pays the bills. I can't just go around sprouting everything I know. I've already said too much. I got nothing left to say to y'all. But then, what if I found some fingerprints for you? What good would that do to me? I don't want none of your dusty old prints! Why don't you two follow my example and do some investigating on your own? Ooh, I guess she won't tell us anything. Not to worry, Emma. Just leave it to me. I have a certain method of drawing out information from those who wish to hide it. If my opponent's lips are sealed, I will be the one to unseal them. Let us begin. Stupid logic chess with the ladder. I, I love logic chess. I think it's great. It's fine. Oh, do I need to do it? Or should if, you do if it? If not, you gotta be fast on your decisions, because this is one of the tougher logic chess. Like, you her, her time meter goes down faster than everyone else's. That's because Lotta Heart has no patience. Exactly. <laughs> fine. Let's examine my opponent's demeanor. I ain't telling y'all nothing, so quit, quit wasting my time. She seems rather impatient, as if she's trying to cut off the conversation. I must be careful with my time. I won't have long to consider my responses. I'm almost certain that she's hiding something from me. That's where I'll begin my attack. Now, time for the first move. Logic, Logic chess, chess, begin. Um, let's calm down and talk this over. Don't you think you're overreacting a bit? Let's just calm down and- I'm always calm, now leave me alone! You don't- uh, all right, uh, wait and see. A real journalist always keeps her cool. Speaking of journalists, I have something interesting to tell you. A few days ago, I met another self-proclaimed journalist. She spoke with an accent quite similar to your own. Sh she spoke like me? Then maybe it was... Ooh, hits wait and see. Cause I'm not sure who to pick. If you ain't saying nothing, I ain't saying nothing neither. Ugh, I was too passive. Oh, it was her student, wasn't it? Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, snap, sorry. Miss Hart is getting increasingly impatient, as if she's trying to cut off the conversation. Okay. I, she, I must she, be very careful learn? with my time. I'm pretty sure she learned from her. Yeah, I won't have long. Okay, let's just get back there. Like, if you make two mistakes, then you're basically screwed. Your student. Nicole Swift. She had a distinct way of speaking, one very much like your own. Furthermore, she said that she had a mentor. Could she have been referring to you? Uh, oh, so you know Nicole! Well, ain't that fun little coincidence? Where'd y'all meet? Wait. <laughs> no, 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 no. Stop trying to get me to spill the beans! Phew! That was a close call! It seems that she lets down her guard when she talks about Miss Swift. This could be a useful clue. I want you to tell me everything that you know right now. No way, Jose. I ain't spilling my guts to someone I have no connection with. Perhaps I should use that clue. Mm -hmm. I'm an acquaintance of your acquaintance? Of your apprentice. Oh. You say that I have no connection with you, Miss Hart. But don't we have a mutual acquaintance with your apprentice? <laughs> well, uh, that's... I reckon it would be mighty cruel of me to give Nicole's friends the cold shoulder. Then why don't you share with us what you know? Well, well, when you put it like that, I guess I could let you in on my scoo- No, no, I ain't falling for your nasty tricks! No, sir! Your scoo? No, 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 just forget it. I was trying to say Scooby-Doo. My <laughs> favorite show. It ain't nothing important. Do you have a scooter? Scooter! Scoop! <laughs> <laughs> you need a scooter. You need a scooter. <laughs> Such a slip of the tongue. It's hardly becoming of a journalist. You have a scoop, don't you? Now tell us what it is. We almost died. Ah! <laughs> All right, you got me. I had a perfect scoop. But I ain't telling you what it is. I'm going to sell the story to a publisher. The information she is hiding could be vital to the investigation. I need to make her talk. Next, I will press her on the contents of her scoop. Please, we're sore. Good. Good. We're gonna die otherwise. She may be quick to lose her temper, but she's even quicker to loosen her tongue. 
She is not d a difficult opponent. Now to extract the information I need. Um, is it related to some sort of incident? Does your story pertain to an incident of some kind? Well, maybe it does, and maybe it doesn't. That's hardly a clear answer. Wh why are you so always hollering at me? I ain't done nothing wrong. I just snuck in to do some investigative reporting. <laughs> wait, uh, you were trespassing? Oh, whoops. Was that the you were saying wait and see. If you ain't saying nothing, move <laughs> me Okay, okay, let's do that again. I ain't nothing wrong. You were trespassing. You didn't do anything wrong? That's a bold statement. Considering that you're currently trespassing on private property. H hey! You're doing it too! Well, I guess the prosecutor's got the right to investigate wherever they please. I probably shouldn't mention anything about the current state of my employment. There's far worse people in the world, you know? Huh. I reckon I'm a saint! Compared to folks who murder. <laughs> Is your scoop about a murder incident? No, tell me you committed a murder. Considering what you just mumbled, is it possible your scoop has something to do with a murder incident? H hey, I was only talking in general terms just now. I mean, anyone could look like a bag of roses compared to a murder, right? It sounds like you're just making excuses to me. All I did was gather info on a black market auction. A murder incident? I don't know anything about that. I ain't seen or heard nothing. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Huh? Maybe I should try another line of attack. Does this scoop of yours have something to do with the black market auction? What are you trying to talk about? I, I don't know about nothing about that. Weren't you in the middle of infiltrating the black market auction? The only logical conclusion is that your story has something to do with it. Y you ain't getting any answers from me. I I didn't hear nothing. Did you hear from the, uh, the auction? You didn't hear what exactly? Did you hear something during the auction? Uh, no, that's... <laughs> I just heard a weird sound, that's all. Probably a gunshot. It ain't even worth mentioning my article, to just forget about it. The victim was stabbed, not shot. There's no question, something happened during the black market auction. She heard a strange sound. This could be a useful clue. Go back. Hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry! I ain't nothing wrong, you were trespassing. I have a pawn! <laughs> hey! Don't, uh, <laughs> I almost did the first option by accident. No, tell me you committed a murder. Hey, I was, I mean, a uh, murder incident? I don't know anything Perhaps about I that. should use a clue here. Didn't you say you heard something strange during the auction? If it stuck out to you so much, it must have not been a sound that you would normally hear. For example, the screams of a murder victim. How'd you keep figuring everything out so quick? That's right. I stumbled upon a murder in the middle of my stakeout. But please, don't make me say any more. This is the biggest scoop I've had in a while. A while? She's had bigger scoops than this in the past? <laughs> I mean, the one where there was a kidnapping at the hotel with everyone there was pretty intense. That's true. The murder that she overheard. It's most likely the same incident that we are currently investigating. Although, at that point, she wasn't like, Oh boy, someone got kidnapped. I got a scoop on that. She was like, Oh boy, this guy's cheating with his manager. <laughs> it's a scoop. <laughs> I forgot she was a celebrity photographer. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, oh. this is bound to be some crucial information. Oh. I'll finish this by confirming the credibility of her information. Do 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 do. She has nowhere left to run. It's time to deal the final blow. Uh, did you really stumble upon a murder? Did you really stumble upon a murder? You call me a liar? Them's fighting words! No, wait and see. Those aren't- <laughs> If it's a fight you want, you just punch her. <laughs> I'm a bona fide journalist. I would never publish lies in my articles. Faster and more accurate than anyone. That's my motto. Her motto, huh? This could be a useful clue. I should keep it in mind. Uh, One or two. Uh, tell me about the incident. 
Tell me what you know about the murder incident. In full detail. Well, my memory ain't what it used to be. <laughs> Not much I can talk about. I ain't the most attentive gal in the world. She's a... She's a... a <laughs> an investigator. Yeah. Like, you have to be good at that. Perhaps I should use that clue. It isn't law. Uh-huh. I'd hardly expect a bona fide journalist to be so inattentive. Didn't you just say your motto is to be faster and more accurate than anyone? Like, literally two seconds ago. <laughs> uh, well, that's... As I expected, the credibility of your information is suspect. But, but I know what I heard. I even got proof. You have proof? You have proof? How is that possible? Explain yourself at once. I got me some ed Wait, you heard that? Well, I was just talking to myself. Y'all just go on and pay no mind. It seems she's still hiding something. This is an important clue. Wow, I did this right on the first I'll try. I'll need to use it effectively. Yeah, you did. Uh, are you hiding? Sometimes you were just on the logic chest. Tell me the truth. I know you're still hiding something from me. I ain't hiding nothing from nobody. I already done told you everything I know. Perhaps I should use that clue. Isn't there something you haven't told me yet? You have evidence regarding the incident you witnessed. Something definitive enough to publish an article. Uh, ah! What, what in tarnation? Let me off the hook already. Fine, I'll tell you everything. I'll even show you the photo I took if you stop harassing me. That good enough for you? Checkmate. Of course she took a photo, and it's gonna be a crappy photo, too, won't it? It's gonna it? be a photo of... It's gonna be black and white. It's going to have, like, half a piece of hair in it, and an <laughs> apple, and, <laughs> and, like, the flower, and then someone's and mouth. And Eenie Miney's crazy eyes. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I lost. I really lost. The mouth of the South has been defeated. You don't want to be known as the mouth of the South. I love that phrase. Now then, it's time to come clean. Tell me everything that you know. I was watching the auction, gathering info for my story. You didn't just watch, though. You got stock shocking photos, too, right? Uh, a little while after the auction started. Someone won a bid, and the conductor banged the gavel. Why did they have a gavel? Was- Wait a minute! Justine was there! Because she said, oh, I was there at, like, 11.50 p.m. What I was no, doing is no, no business, business in anyone. Shoot! <laughs> so Stupid you Justine! <laughs> Jill's, Jill's her sister, probably! <laughs> Jill Courtney? Jill Courtney? Jill Crane? Come on, who has the last name of Crane? I'm sorry if you do, viewers, but, A like, lot of people do. Okay, Crane, like... I'm a crane! Yeah. No, it's probably like Jill so you, Courtney. So you think Justine Courtney is the person in charge They're of- They're J and J. It totally makes sense. JC and JC? Yeah, JC and JC. Maybe it's like a whole JC, thing. JC, JC, ACDC. Maybe it's a whole thing. Uh, yeah, they started a band in high school. <laughs> JC, JC. Oh. So you think, you think Courtney's gonna be in charge and she's like- I think she was at least aware of this. Because clearly- You can borrow my gavel! Yeah, you could, Probably Jill was like, yo sis, can I borrow that gavel? She's like- You really think they're siblings? I think they could be! I think- I'm dead serious, they could be! Or they could be like cousins. <laughs> um, they could be, uh... Pull up that photo of Jill. If you please. They look pretty similar! Like, they've got the same hair. No, they have totally different hair. Justine's Justine, is black. Okay, but girls could have black hair or brown hair. Like, envy sisters, you know? I mean, the, true. Uh, they don't look anything hollered, alike. We'll finish the deal upstairs. I'm Justine, and that's Jill. Maybe they had different parents. Like, maybe it's like a half-sibling situation. <laughs> like Pearl. Where wow. it's like Pearl and Iris and Dahlia are all related, but, you know, same mom, okay. but different people. Somebody holler, we'll finish the deal upstairs. Okay, hang on. I'm thinking... What? Do, every time I pull up the organizer, does it overwrite some of the text? Either that, or if we do it while it's... I don't think you can do it while the text is... So here, read that. That ain't good. I thought to myself as I hurried back to hide behind the statue. Okay, no. that did... Oh, wait, Sometimes hang on, hang on. Happens. What if we go, like, first person, though? Like this? Yeah! Yeah, it does. Oh, that's weird. That's a that's bug. That's an emulator bug. Okay. Did you see whoever came up? Not quite, but I reckon the feller that came up was the winner of the bit. 
I can smell the buttery aroma of the big fat wads of cash. Buttery aroma? I can't imagine that at all. I think it was Al who finally bought a Woody doll. <laughs> In Japan. This is America, Marty. This is Japanifornia. <laughs> totally logical. Everybody goes to Japanifornia to sell Woody dolls. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon this is the room where the bitters po po ponied, ponied Pony yeah, up. Yeah, ponied up the dough. I have never That's heard slain. that That's slain. That's slain. Oh, ponied up Pony the dough up the cash. for their purchases. Two of them talked for a while. Wait. There was a second person in the storeroom? You betcha. I reckon it was the conductor. And that out of nowhere, one of them started screaming. I almost scared the britches off of me. I rolled myself up in a ball and kept on lying low. So you witnessed the murder? Well, I wouldn't say that I witnessed it, but I definitely heard it, though. Didn't you try to stop them? Just stop right there. That ain't even funny. What's a dainty little thing like me gonna do? I feel like you could punch the crap out of people. <laughs> yeah. Dainty. Dainty? She's like Daisy in that regard. <laughs> she is kind of Daisy. She's like Southern Daisy. Yeah! 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 <laughs> Hi, I'm Daisy! Uh, after that, I heard me some rustling and bustling. The whole time, I was really regretting coming here. Something fierce. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I mean... But nothing gets in the way of Lot Hart and have photos! That was my big scoop. Ain't no way I was gonna let it slip away. I'm just gonna say, would you have rather... Which would you rather have had come back? Lot of Heart or Spark Brushel? Lot of Heart! <laughs> okay. I don't want Spark Brushel brushing his teeth. <laughs> a bit later, I heard this loud thud. I figured it was my last chance to snap a photo from behind the statue. And then you just get the statue's butt. Well then, would you please show us the photo? Oh, why do I have to? Th this is... It's the killer. That's his body type. He's thin <laughs> and looks like that. The person in the red raincoat who attacked Kay. Oh wait, that was Emma. The yeah. person in the red raincoat who attacked Kay. The person mm -hmm. in the red raincoat assaulted the victim in the storeroom. Okay, it's one of two people. It's either, um... The killer or Courtney, you think? No, I think it's either the killer or Nicole. Oh. Although, okay, I'm looking at the... Yeah, it looks like the killer. That's like his shape. No girl has that broad of shoulders. <laughs> That's not true, but... And then attacked K on the roof. A lot of photo data jotted down in the organizer. There's blood on a hand. There is. There's only one person in this photo. Where is the victim? Yeah, I thought it was strange, too. I could have sworn there was two of them, but... When I looked, there were only the one. But that's gotta be the killer, don't you think? So... Hmm, so she's saying the victim disappeared. So what I think might have happened is... I don't know where the, um... I almost said the trolley. The trolley! The trolley! Um, Anything from where, the trolley, dear. dear? No, I wonder if... Where the the lift loft thing lands. Mm -hmm. Because the dead body is found, like, in the middle of the room. Just, like, on the podium, basically. We I go, don't think it lands there. We go down the lift. Arthur, what are you doing in my closet? You want to have a sandwich? Yeah, it's literally going to be, like, Courtney just, like, updating her will, probably. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what are you doing here? You were able to tell this person was the culprit just by looking? Their hand was stained right red, so I figured it was them. What happened to the auction after the murder? Nothing, really. It just went on like normal. I guess those rich folks don't give a hoot. They got some nerve. The nerve of a journalist is nothing to scoff at, either. Lotta's testimony jotted down in the organizer. Clearly, they must have dumped the body in something, then. Or, like, onto that. No chest. No chest. Maybe she counted them wrong? Oh, we don't have enough hmm. info. Because she said there was 11 participants, right? Uh, yeah, she but did. But then there's the guy who probably left. Ask me anything you want. Oh, forget it. Not you. All right. No, I wanted to go to organizer. Wrong button. All right. Modest testimony. Black market auction was being held in the Grand Tower. The items up for auction were pieces of evidence from past cases. 11 people entered the event. Each one of them was wearing a mask. The action continued even after Jill Crane's murder. Or the we auction. know that that must be a lie because that 12th mask was the, the killer that left with the Jammin' Ninja mask. Alright, so we already did that. I'm gonna check just to see if the two pieces of logic actually do go together. Let's try it. 
I think it will. If we assume that the murder took place in this storeroom, then we must conclude that the body was here as well. Huh? Isn't that pretty <laughs> obvious? Do you remember how the participants left the auction? Of course. They passed through the storeroom on the way back from the auction. Ah! Exactly. The culprit had to hide the body so that the participants wouldn't discover it. The real question is, where was the body hidden? Good thing they didn't throw it behind the statue that Lotta was hiding behind. Am yeah. I right? Emma, would you mind lending me a hand? Leave it to me. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Use your luminol reagent to test for a blood reaction. If you would, please. Okay, let me show you the power of science! The glint in her eyes is getting brighter by the second. Let's start by examining that ladder over there. Based on Miss Hart's picture, the person in the red raincoat headed toward that ladder. Chances are someone will turn something will turn up if we check there. Just touch anything you want to examine. If you do that, you'll be able to spray the luminol region at it. If there's blood stains on the spot where you sprayed, you'll get a reaction like this. Even so, ugh, no matter how many times I see blood stains, they're always so gruesome. There's a blood reaction here, but it's kind of faint. Let's spray it with luminol two or three more times, so it'll be nice and clear. You can see it clearly now. Ugh, it looks even more gruesome than before. Do you understand how to look for blood stains now? There's probably a few more blood stains here, so why don't you give it a try, Mr. Edgeworth? All right. Do -do 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 -do. Let's search the rest of the storeroom for blood stains just like that. First, let's look for a place to spray the luminol region. Okay. I think the chest. The chest that's been broken open. You want to examine this spot? Yep. Let's spray luminol on every suspicious looking nook and cranny. Literally blood. Mr. Edgeworth, there's blood stains here too. However, why is there a blood stain in a place like this? Maybe something that had blood on it was stored inside? What's staying in the costume trunk? Well... <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, there are places we still haven't checked yet. So, let's continue our investigation. But the logic will... <laughs> go up. The logic goes together. Um... You want to examine this spot? Why not? Unfortunately, there were no reactions here. Check the... The lift. Yeah. You want to examine here? Let's spray luminol on every suspicious looking nook and cranny. All right. Check the buttons, check the buttons, check the lift. Maybe there's a blood stain on the lift. Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, there's a reaction. It's a blood stain. But why in a place like this? Perhaps this was where the murder took place. Ah, it looks like some of the blood dripped down to the floor below. Yeah. Blood on the hidden lift data jotted down so in my having, organizer. they're having a well, auction. Just like drip, drip, drip. And there's like blood dripping. It's like, pay no attention to that. Who? We'll start the bid at $300 for this exquisite candelabra <laughs> that has been stolen <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Looks like we found all the blood stains in the storeroom. It seems we have investigated the storeroom sufficiently. <sighs> da, 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 well, God body was probably hidden in the trunk. <laughs> And it just doesn't work. It'd be funny. The reason why we found a blood stain in the costume trunk is because the murderer hid the body in that box. I wonder who won the bid for it. The trunk, I mean. That, I don't know. In a certain way, everything worked out exactly as someone wanted. Hold it, hold it! It couldn't have been in that dressing box! What do you mean? When I first came down here, that box caught my eye too. It was just the right size and it wouldn't have made a perfect hiding spot. That's what I thought, anyway. But I couldn't get in the dang thing to open. Oh, I, she couldn't get in it, and she couldn't open it. It had been wrapped up real tight with a lock chain. The murder happened after that, so hiding a body in there wouldn't have been impossible, you know? A chain wrapped around it. That's a bit strange. Right now, it doesn't seem to be locked up at all. 
Huh? That's weird. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me or something? Costume trunk data jotted down the organizer. No, the chain is there. It's just unwound. Yeah. And with that, I believe we have examined everything there is to examine here. Well then, let's head on down. Oh, have we decided on our next destination? Hey, Kay. Yes, Mr. Shields? We wouldn't want you to get lost, so make sure you stay real close to Uncle Ray, okay? Right. I'll follow you closely, Mr. Shields. These two? Since when did they get along like that? Investigation complete! And then they hit the button and the thing breaks because they're too fat and, and they get <laughs> teleported to the Twilight Zone. <laughs> April 5th, 7.43pm, Grand of, Tower. They're kind of idiots going down here. PIC meeting room. What? 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 Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Sup, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Body's missing. This place is... Is this the auction hall? No, it's the meeting room from before. Ha! <laughs> How nice of you to drop in, Kay Faraday! You've got some guts. Hey, you guys, arrest her! Arrest her! Wait, Kay is... As for the rest of the riffraff, just show them out the door. This is tyranny! Yeah, it's tyranny, pal! Miles, this is kinda bad. The light of justice shines above me! Ha <laughs> ha Ouch! Why me too? Oh, that's strange. I was aiming for that weak ex-prosecutor. You were clearly aiming at me! Maybe something got in my way. Particularly... <laughs> right around there. Franziska? Just what do you think you're doing here, ex-prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? I do not believe that Kay is the culprit behind this incident. You're just an ordinary man without investigation rights. What says what you say does not matter. I am Francisca von Karma. I will never stop moving forward. However, you choose to quit. The outcome of our battle has already been decided. I cast away my badge because it became a millstone around my neck. I shall continue moving forward even without it. The path I walk will surely lead to the truth. Nothing says truth like Culver's, by the way. <laughs> my actions are driven by that belief, and that is something which will never change. So you're saying that you found a path to the truth? Then show it to me. But if that path proves it to be a foolish one, it will not survive my whip. Oh. Testament. I thought we were going into a to be continued. Well, we'll have to hear about Francisca's logic next time on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Thanks for watching, everyone. See, the, the case is getting a lot more interesting now. It with, is. like, the black it's, market it's auction. It's a whole lot of, yeah. Well, it's, it's all coming back with that stupid ring of people. Um, mob ring? Was that what it was? Mob ring? You the smuggling ring? The smuggling ring. Yeah, because the Aleph Red statue was part of the smuggling ring. So, like, it, the smuggling ring might have something to do with this. I think that the smuggling ring... Well, because we got the main guy, and then he was kind of like, I have underlings, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Maybe, like, Jill was an underling, and then she was like, Justine, I really need your help. Can, like, we use the PIC room? She's like, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'll give you two 20s. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I need to pay my uh, law school bills, so <laughs> that, that'll come in handy. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.